What happened, Alex? So we heard our fire alarm for the second time that day, which was weird, and we left the classroom, which he locked the door so we could leave. And when people were halfway down the stairwell, it just stopped, the, the alarm stopped. And we heard gunshots coming from the first floor, the second floor, and people were running upstairs, even from the second floor. And we, he opened, we all got upstairs and into our classrooms. And when he tried to unlock the door, me and a couple other people ran, ran in. And as he was closing the door, he was actually shot and killed right there. And the door was left open the whole time. So as he walked by, the door was open. He could have walked in at any time. And we just had to be as quiet as possible. Where did you run when that happened, Alex? You had to have been so terrified. Yeah, uh, I ran. I was waiting for my teacher to open the door. And after that, I just bolted into our same classroom. And we all hid in the corner. And that was it. That's all. That's all I saw until and you ran I with some friends and your teacher stayed yes. there, obviously on the yeah. ground. Yeah. So he he ran back to open the classroom for you guys. Mhm. Mm so you could be safe, apparently. Mhm. Mm so when we ran in, yeah, he was about to was close the door. To, to the door after they'd gotten back in, he was trying to lock the door to keep the students safe. And before he had a chance to close and lock the door, that's when he got shot. Mom, what are your thoughts? That I'm just terrified. We just moved here from Canada a few months ago, and the thought that this would be where we would be with a school shooting is a nightmare. And Never imagined. What will, to the teacher that possibly saved your daughter's life? I feel sick about the teacher. I, I, every time I think about it, I feel sick about it. I can't even imagine that he's not here anymore. I feel terrible. And they just, I believe they had just earlier done after the break, done some drills on this exact kind of situation, which is I think why the teachers and students knew what to do in this instance. Unbelievable. Alex, how were, were there chaos? Were people yelling inside of that school in that freshman building? Yeah, I remember hearing this, somebody down the hall was screaming, like, help me, come save me. Or he was, I didn't hear really crying, but he was just yelling the whole time, like, for someone to come save him, but like, we weren't going to move because we didn't know who it was, if it was someone faking it. Did you hear so many so many uh, gunshots? Was it? Yes. Um, I did hear a lot coming from the floor below me before I ran back up to my classroom. And then I did hear some in the hallway. And then it stopped, but we didn't move because we knew that he was probably still in there because if the cops were going to come. Students should never have to see. Thank you so much for Thank speaking you. with us. I'm so sorry, Alex, that you had to go through this, but the deafening sound of gunshots going through the hallway here at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, a mother uh, happy to have her daughter here tonight, but so many others don't have that luxury out here. Just a sad day here in Parkland as parents now reunite with their children and we now hear these uh, awful, horrific tales of survival. And these kids were feared for their lives. They ran to safety and they were afraid they were going to get shot. And it's just a sad day out here in Parkland. Back to you guys.